low-code mobile app development may sound, feel, and look new, but it is something familiar to all of us. I studied engineering in college, taught myself a couple coding classes and languages, and began freelancing app development projects. And every client would tell me, Sydney, I have the next big app idea, and you should come on board and write the code and manage it. And I took on these big ideas and soon became the lifeline of the project because the app creator did not have any app development knowledge. So I had to come up with a way to share my knowledge so that the creator can actually have more control of their app project without my technical skill set. Now, I'm going to be honest with you all. I didn't consider taking my technical knowledge and putting it into no code because I wanted to change the world initially. I just wanted you know, peace of mind when I was watching The Office in the evening so that I didn't have a thousand emails going off. But during this time, paint party classes were booming. If you don't know what paint classes are, it's where if you're not an artist, you can become one with a paintbrush, a canvas, and a glass or a bottle of wine, depending on your creative ability. <laughs> and what I noticed from the experience of these paint classes were these expert artists were able to create an experience that felt extremely familiar, coloring, to help whoever, who was not an artist, create a masterpiece. Now, we've all colored in some sort in a coloring book. We've had a sheet of paper with an outline. Some of them had numbers that told you exactly where to put what color for those of us who are creatively challenged. And all you needed was a box of crayons. You were able to create art. I wanted to do that exact same thing. I wanted to make app development feel familiar and easy to anyone who was not a developer. But what's that experience? So raise your hand if you have used the File Explorer feature on your computer before. Pretty much everyone. Now raise your hand if you've created a mobile app before. OK, big difference. Well, today we're going to do that together. We're going to create an app using the File Explorer features. Now we're going to refresh how the File Explorer works. Usually you have a main folder. It's called My Documents or Documents. And within it, you have either of two things, folders and or files. Folders, they nest information, either more folders or files. And then you have files, the actual information, the content. These are your PDFs, a couple spreadsheets, a picture, maybe a few videos. Well, let's apply that to build a TEDx Detroit mobile app, okay? So that means our main folder will be TEDx Detroit. That's the app's homepage. That is the first folder that will house everything within the great things that are TEDx Detroit. So a little group participation, because this is homework for all of us. We're all going to be app developers today. The main focus of TEDx is their amazing lineup of speakers. Yes. That's going to be our first subfolder, speakers. And when you have speakers at TEDx Detroit, there are three main components that we need to have from them post the event. The first one is their, and the second one, so that we remember who they are, is their, and most importantly, we need to know their, their talk. Yes, you had it right, don't doubt yourself. And these three things will help fill out our next folders. We have folders with speakers' names on them. And when we open those folders, we will find two files, a picture and a video. So let's take a look at our app that we built together. We have our homepage, TEDx Detroit. And right there, we see our first folder, speakers. We're going to open that folder, and we see two more with our speakers' names on it. And when we click on that folder, we get the file, the talk. Now that I'm talking to an audience of skilled app developers, which you are all now, I want to take you back to the coloring book concept for a moment. Instead of using a coloring book, we use the file explorer. And in the world of no code, instead of having a box of crayons, we had files and folders of pre-created code that did exactly what we need to do, like create a directory list of people, play a video, functionality, functionality that will allow us to perform and nest them within folders to create a user experience just how we navigate and find our documents on computers. 
To be innovative, even when it comes to mobile app development or your next big idea, having the ability to have a different perspective of how to use what already exists today in a different manner for change and for innovation is still considered innovation. So raise your hand if you feel you are more capable now to build a mobile app without coding. Okay, amazing, and no one needed a bottle of wine or a glass of wine to do it. Thank you so much for building with me, Detroit.